of my traumas in life, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, um, my very first girlfriend, her name was Tracy. I won't call her last name. Her name was Tracy. Okay. And um, she was my heart. As a matter of fact, I still see her sometimes. She still, my, the very first time she saw me, my little sister told her with big mouth told her that I was out flying signs because I was homeless and everything. My little sister told her and she came out and she uh, was talking to me and I could see the tears running down her face because she was shocked at yeah. seeing me being homeless, knowing the type of person I was, knowing that I was a go-getter. You know, I didn't wake up one morning and said I wanted to be homeless. I didn't wake up one morning and said I wanted to be a, a drug addict. You know, I didn't wake up saying I wanted to be all of that. You know, I, I wanted to be the best that I could be. And my dad always told me, he said, son, whatever you do in life, be the best whatever it is that you do. Be the best at whatever you do. If you're a cook, be the best cook you could be. If you're a hobo, be the best hobo that you could be. Whatever you do, be the best at it. You know, be the best at it. You know, I don't sit on the side of the road right now, man, and, and, and be joyful because I have to ask people for money. You know, but I'm saying, if I sit on the side of the road and ask you for money, I have a reason for doing that. And my reason for doing that is, is because I don't want to go out and hurt nobody. I don't want to go breaking in nobody's house. I don't want to go doing any of that stuff right there. So I ask people for money to keep from doing these things right here. That, that's why I do this stuff right here. So people, y'all out there, don't think I'm sitting out here just begging y'all for money because I'm homeless or because I want to go out and get high. It's not all about that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what's up? It's not all about that because I want to get high and all of that. It's about not wanting to do no wrong. It's about wanting to keep myself out here and scrambling to get myself back together. You know, like, like today, I suppose it went down to um, CCC. Okay. Um, to uh, check and make sure my Medicare was down there, my Medicare card was down there because... Uh, I remember you mentioned that. Yeah, because um, when I get my Medicare, I'm going to get on a program that will stop me from the drug use. You know, that's something that I strive to do is to stop using drugs. I strive to stop using drugs because, like I said, drugs wasn't always a part of my story. My story is, is I'm a good person. My story is, is I'm not an addict. My story is, is that I want to make people happy. I want to see people smile. I want to love people as they love me. So when I give, when you give me, I can give back. And one of these days I'm gonna give, I'm gonna be giving, you know, and I'm gonna go down, and I'm not gonna do it today, I'm gonna go down tomorrow, and I'm gonna check the CCC and make sure my Medicare card is down there. And once my Medicare card is down there, you won't see me on the side of the road no more. You know, if you see me on the side of the road, it's to thank you. It's to thank you for all that you have done for me. And I do thank y'all for each and every day that you do something for me, you know. I, each dollar you give me, I look up to the sky and I thank God for each dollar that you give me, each quarter. One guy came through the other day and I didn't have any money in my pocket, not one dime in my pocket. And he called me to the car and he had his hand like this. And I'm thinking he's gonna give me some change. You know what this guy put in my hand? What's that? This guy put a marble in my hand. A no. shiny marble in my hand. And I wanted to cuss him out, man. I ain't got any dime in my pocket. And I wanted to cuss this guy out, man. But all I could do, was laugh at it, you know. <laughs> I laughed at it, and I laughed to keep from crying, you know. But then he came back the, the next day, and he gave me ten dollars. And he said, "You know why I gave you that marble?" I said, "No." He said, "What did you see in that marble?" I said, "It was a pretty marble, and it shined." He said, "Well, I gave you that marble because I want you to shine." He said, "I want you to shine in the same way this marble is polished and shiny." He said, I know one day you're going to be the same way. You're going to be polished again and you're going to shine again. You wow. know, and that junk, you know, it, it touched my heart right now and yeah. it makes me want to cry right now, man. That's amazing. Because you could have took it so left, but he had such a greater intention. Yes, it, it touched me, man. When he told me that right there, he said, you, 
you know, one day you're going to be polished and you're going to shine again like you used to shine. And I knew for a fact that he was telling the truth, that I was going to shine one day and I was going to be polished again one day. And I'm going to be polished again one day and I'm going to shine again one day. You know, it's a mighty, a mighty poor rat to have one holy crawl in, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to get better and I'm going to get up on my two feet and I'm going to be good again, man. And I can honestly say I'm going to be a better person. I'm going to be a better person, man. But uh, as I got older, I began to know what life was all about. It was about the ups and the downs in life. And, and as long as you continue to stay down, you'll never get up. And I'm going to get up and I'm going I'm to be good one day. Um, I need to get on to some of the, 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 the real traumas in life, man. You know? I mean, I, I, it, was, it, was, it was fights where we caught. Like, I can remember my little sister. We was in elementary school. I'm going back a little bit. We was in elementary school and... Um, she was picking at this girl one day, and and she was kicking the girl. Had the, the, the little girl, her mama made her and her sister go out and rape the yard, and my little sister went back and was kicking kicking leaves back in the yard, and the girl told my sister, "I'm gonna beat your ass. You keep on kicking them leaves back in my yard." So one morning, me and my little sister was walking to school, and the girl caught her. And I won't gonna let this girl beat my sister. This girl was in middle school and my little sister was in elementary and I was in elementary too. And I won't gonna let this girl um, fight my sister. So um, I picked up a rock. I picked up a rock about this big. Yeah. No, my rock was bigger. Her rock was about that big. And she said, the girl outsmarted me. She said, you throw your rock down and I throw my rock down. I threw my rock down and she threw her rock down. But she was so fast, she picked my big rock up. And she bust me in the head with it. Wow. <laughs> she bust me in the head with my eye. I had to get seven stitches over my eye. And she bust me in the head with my rock. You know? But, um, and I've had some times, man, where I was in situations, man, where I actually thought I was going to die. My sister, I, I think I was around about 24, 24 years old. And this is when, 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 when I had started doing, doing 24 doing years old. And I started doing crack. And my sister... My, 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 this is my oldest sister. She, I, and another white guy. His name actually was Chris too. He was going, and we were going to a party. We was going to a party, and, and this dude named uh, Ron. I don't call it that. His name was Ron. And uh, Ron wanted Chris to give him some of the crack that he had. And Chris told him, "I'm not giving you nothing." Chris was white. I said, "I'm not giving you nothing." And so he. God dang it, I pulled that big gun out, man, and he shot up in the car about four or five times. Wow. Thank God. Not God was right there was God. Had to have been there with us, man. This guy shot up in that car about four or five times, and it didn't hit not Nate's soul in that car. Wow. Not Nate's soul in that car. It broke the windows. It put holes in the door. Glass. But it, it, glass, glass. But only that. That's the only thing that, that, that happened was by the glass shattering, some of it cut little little cuts and little nicks was on us and everything but to tell you how protective i was of my sister when the dude started shooting in the car i grabbed my sister and hovered over her because i would rather take the bullet than my sister take the bullet yeah yeah you know and that's how protective i am of my sisters and my mother you know but, but let me just go on and say this